Hello, and welcome to this video on how to start using Roasting Intelligence. After downloading Roasting Intelligence at download.cropster.com, you will need to log in with your user credentials you received when ordering your trial. Simply enter your username, which is your email address, and password, and check this box to remember credentials. This will save all of your machine settings. Each time you open the application, Cropster will automatically sync your green inventory, roast profiles, user settings, and search for new versions of roasting intelligence. If you do not have internet access, a Continue Offline button will display in the bottom right hand side. You will need to connect to the internet to synchronize your roasts. After you are finished entering your credentials, please click Log In. You are now on the main Roasting Intelligence screen. You will first need to put in your roast machine information to get started. To select your machine, click Account, then Preferences. You will see three tabs, General, Chart, and Machine. Click Machine. From this screen, select the drop-down titled Roasting Machine and select your machine. There are many ways to connect your roaster to Cropster Roasting Intelligence. Some machines come Cropster ready, while others require additional hardware. All roasters can connect to Cropster, but if you are unsure how to connect your roaster, please feel free to contact us at support at cropster.com with your machine information and we will send you the correct manual and troubleshooting information. For this video, we will use a Fidget 1048 Cropster connector which can measure up to four temperatures and track ambient room temperature. This roaster tracks bean temperature using a K-type ungrounded thermocouple, so I will choose temperature sensor ungrounded KJET. For this setup, under each temperature, you can also set your channel, probe type, temperature offset, and rate of rise. If you are unfamiliar with roasting with rate of rise, ROR for short, start with 30 seconds. You can also choose to log temperatures without displaying them on your chart or sidebar. Just click the checkbox to remove it from your display. If you do not have a temperature sensor on your machine that is available in your Cropster, please leave it as disabled. Once you have entered your machine settings, you should click save and make sure your temperature works. Or you can move to the general tab and make adjustments before clicking save. In the General tab, you can change the units of temperature, weight, and pressure, as well as language. Language will default to what your computer settings are. Workflow allows you to choose to add comments based on temperature or time while roasting. When you click to add a comment, Roasting Intelligence will save and display the time or temperature you clicked at, so that you may focus on the action and then enter the information when done. Both will be logged, but many prefer to reference one or the other while saving a comment. Roasting Intelligence can also auto-mark development events like color change, first crack, and second crack based on your bean temperature. As these event temperatures tend to vary between coffees, temperature will be based on your roast profile's reference curve and ultimately on your roast machine and green coffee. Roasting Intelligence can also set an alarm that is triggered by your reference curve. It will be triggered 60 seconds before first crack as well as 60 seconds before the end of your roast. This will alert you to pay attention and prepare for these events. You will also see an option that says, Stop roasting requires a second click for confirmation. This option will be turned on by default to make sure you do not accidentally end your roast prematurely. With this on, you will need to click twice within a 3 second window to end your roast. To make sure that you have an accurate start and end temperature, Cropster created a feature called Automatic Start and End Detection. This feature will allow you to click start up to 30 seconds before you start roasting and will adjust your start timer to the peak temperature before you started your roast. The first field is the temperature drop required to trigger this feature. A good starting point would be 13 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius. End detection will set your end temperature as a peak temperature after turning point and will confirm with you that the roast has ended. This is the second field, which can be set to 5 degrees Fahrenheit or 3 degrees Celsius. Timer allows you to track your roast events with your roasting style. If you track color change, you can turn on the modulation timer, which displays drying, Maillard, 
and development phases, which are triggered by color change and first crack comments. If you just track first crack, you can use this or the development timer. If you believe time is a construct, you can just select none. Once you've chosen these settings, click the chart tab and enter in your chart settings. You will need to enter a max time longer than your normal roast and a temperature range that works well for your roast machine. Usually 150 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 and 200 degrees in Celsius will make a nice graph for bean temperature. But if you are tracking environmental or exhaust temperature, you may need to set this higher. For rate of rise, you will want to choose a number that corresponds with your settings. If you are using a 30 second rate of rise, 0 to 25 will work nicely. If you are roasting with a machine like a Loring, Giesen, or Probat roaster equipped with Cropster Ready gas reading, you can choose to automatically add gas comments as comments on your chart. If you make more than a few changes while roasting, this can get messy. This field allows you to choose the max number of automatically added gas comments you want displayed on each roast. When you are done, click Save and reopen the application. Your temperature should display on the right hand side. If it does not display your temperatures or displays an inaccurate temperature, please reach out and we will help you with troubleshooting. Now that you have set up your machine, it's time to do your first roast. Before roasting, you will want to add green inventory and roast profiles. When you start your trial, Cropster will have added some trial inventory and a profile for you to test with, but to get maximum value, we recommend adding your inventory and profile information as soon as possible. To start a roast, select a roast profile, green lot, and batch size. Once you've selected a reference roast for a profile, you will be able to reference it before and during a roast. For example, you can see the key roast statistics, roast curve, recent cupping scores, and roast comments. If you have goals associated with your roast, you can also view them here. As you approach your charge temperature, click Start and charge your beans. Once you start your roast, the temperature will drop, which will trigger automatic start detection and adjust the timer to the correct start time. If you accidentally start your roast too soon, you can click the abort button, which will not save any of your roast or remove any of your green inventory. Let's familiarize you with the interface. Key roast information like profile, green inventory, and batch size will be in the bottom left hand corner. Time in minutes is along the X axis. Temperature is on the left y-axis and rate of rise on the right y-axis. Time, temperature, and rate of rise display in real time on the right-hand side for each of the measurements you have set up. If you have already set a reference curve, it will display in the background with each temperature, rate of rise, and comments. Key reference row statistics will display in the upper right-hand corner, and comments will be queued up in real time or you can click the check mark to add them as you progress through the roast. To add a comment for your roast adjustments, click on the screen just before making a change on your roaster control panel or roast machine. Make the change and then notate it in the related field and click the related button. This will add the comment with the time and bean temperature to your graph. Adding color change will trigger the Maillard phase and first crack will trigger the development phase. Turning point will automatically log for you at the lowest temperature of your roast. To edit a comment, click on the comments icon in the left sidebar. You can click the pencil to edit the comment, time, or temperature. You can click the trash can to delete the comment. You can also edit or delete comments after the roast has ended. If you want to zoom in on a particular spot on the graph, either scroll on the graph or select a region to zoom in on. To go back to your original settings, right click and select Reset Axes. You can also change your graph settings under Account Preferences during a roast. If you accidentally chose the wrong profile and want to make a change, just click on the Change button and select the profile you meant to choose. If you want to change the green inventory after starting the roast, you will need to edit it online. It is very easy to do and can be done directly on the roasts page. To change your default comments field, click on the settings gear in the upper right hand corner. The first time you use the app, there will be an alert pointing this out. 
you can add or remove any of these options displayed. Once you are done with your roast, open the door and click Stop. This will take you to the post roast screen where you can finalize your roast. Cropster will automatically calculate your end weight based on your profile information, but you can enter in your final end weight here, as well as your whole bean and ground coffee color score. You can add additional comments, notes, or edit your comments on this screen. Once you are happy with your comments, click Save and the roast will sync with your Caesar and be available to review online. This will take you back to the dashboard where you should view a few more things before moving on to your next roast. Up at the top of the page, you will see a tab that says Help. Under it, you will see Online Help, which will link you to our searchable knowledge base. Almost every question you have can be answered here, and if it doesn't, you can create a support ticket on the same page and will receive a thoughtful, speedy reply with a solution. Under Help, you will also find keyboard shortcuts. These are specific to your operating system, so please check them out to improve your utility. On the left-hand side, there is a button that says Support. If you ever run into an issue with the Roasting Intelligence software, please follow these steps to get the fastest resolution. Please put in a subject describing the problem you are facing and a message including the circumstances surrounding your dilemma. Using this portal will include a log file that shows us nearly everything we need to know about your settings to understand your problem, and your help is much appreciated. If you call us for support with Roasting Intelligence, this will be the first thing we request. After you are used to using Cropster, you will want quick access to the most commonly used Cropster pages. For quick access, click on Links up at the top of the page which will take you to the different pages on Caesar. Lastly, check out the production tab on the sidebar. Under the production tab, you can choose who is roasting, review completed batches and edit end weight and roast color, synchronize with the server, select a scheduled roast and review your planned roasting schedule, which can be integrated with Shopify and eventually other ordering systems using order to roast. The production tab can also be opened and closed while roasting. Thanks for watching our video. To find more videos and helpful manuals, check out our help desk at help.cropster.com.